afternoon ladies and gentlemen I'm Meezy69 welcome back to the channel now F F in chat for Pantooth F in chat for Pantooth now I'm gonna jump on the bandwagon here obviously Pantooth made a video explaining that he did not receive the content creator uh, crate as such where you get avatar gold uh, more crates it, free xp credits and all that and of course droodles made a response video to that which i completely agree with almost pretty much everything uh droodles says now i just want to sort of uh touch by on a few things that uh mostly pantooth has said in his videos so Pantooth did not receive the content creator uh, avatar uh, that every pretty much a lot of the uh, content creators got. Now, as much as he's uh, he is a content creator, and in fact he's the at the moment he's the biggest content creator. He's not the the highest amount of subs, but for views. For views he is the biggest content creator in the game so should he have received the the crate should he have received the content creator crate yes 100 percent he should have received this crate however wargaming decided not to uh, give him this crate and why 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 sh why did why did he get left out now there is a few reasons uh to why he got left out now i don't know officially wargaming haven't told me officially the reasons why but i can i could give a good guess as to why now droodles has pointed on the fact that uh he has broken you know, the uh ul u e u l a uh, a few times which is is correct uh also he's he's had a, vid a few videos that have been asked to take down which I, I don't think is part of that reason uh wargaming asking pantooth to, to remove videos because they break some rules is uh, that's not the reason why he he hasn't received this uh this this avatar um because in fact wargaming when he does these kind of videos, Wargame message him and say, look, Pantooth, can you uh, can you remove this video? It breaks the rules. And Pantooth never really argues about it. He's like, okay, sorry. And he removes the video. Um, fair enough. He normally makes a video in reply to that saying, Wargaming made me remove this or whatever. Uh, but it's nothing. I don't think that in itself is enough to not receive uh, the avatar. Now, I know... I know uh, Pantooth in his video says like he doesn't care that he does he didn't get it. it. It actually helps him out more. Do I agree with this in a way? Yes, because I mean, wargaming. Th th World of Tanks Blitz is wargaming. I mean, this is their game, and because it's their game, a lot of people will have hate on them because a lot of people wargaming don't do as they ask like some things that wargaming do people are not happy with there's a lot of people that don't respect wargaming or don't sort of like wargaming and because of that they may sort of hop over to to pantooth's channel because i mean if they if they don't like wargaming why not go to a channel where who wargaming doesn't like like it's it's really sort of uh that's usually the way it goes it's um it's it's a tough one it very it really is a tough one and i honestly do think pantu should have got this avatar i have stated it in our cc chat saying that he should have got this avatar um more to the point yes i know he's broke the rules i know he's broke the rules but at the end of the day he is still the biggest content creator for the game he still brings them revenue uh, in with the tank sales when he does a review on a tank if it's a good tank he still brings revenue to the game uh, and a lot of people yes i know he has the negative views that's absolutely fine and that's where i wanted to touch up on what what, uh, what pan tooth says um he states in his video that now he has he can say what he wants he can say what he wants he's he's on his own he hasn't got anything to do with wargaming. Wargaming don't like him, so it's it's not. He can say what he wants and sort of get away with it. And, and to be honest, what I really wanted to touch up with what he said there is, to be honest, that's that's the same of everyone else, dude. And he knows this. I've had a word with him. I spoke with him, and I spoke to Droodles. Droodles knows this because he said it in his video. 
just because we got the avatar or just because we are some of us are cc's we are not restricted in what we can and can't say like for instance i'm making this video now and saying pantooth should have got this avatar he should have 100 percent if i was restricted in what i could say like do you think wargaming would message me and say Midi, can you remove that video because you're saying Pantu should have got it and he, 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 you know, you're going against us. No, I can say what I want. Any YouTuber can say what we want, whether we are CCs. Now, I do understand what Droodles has said. Those upcoming YouTubers, yes, I completely agree with. They will have to be careful what they say. They will have to be careful of their of their content, etc. What content they make if they want to become a CC. They're not gonna obviously they're not going to, to get a CC if all they're doing is saying F you wargaming, F you this. And of course, wargaming are not gonna make them CCs. Um, but you know, I am a CC. I can say what I want. I always say wargaming, what the f are you doing? What the fuck are you doing when they bring tanks like the Smasher in or tanks like the Pilot into uh, into crates or the STG into crates? Yes, these kind of videos, I would say, Wargaming, what the fuck are you thinking? Wargaming have never messaged me saying, Meezy, what was this video about? Like, because I have an opinion. And if that is that opinion is to slate Wargaming because they did something wrong, then that is up to me. I'm allowed to do that. Um... What it was for Pantooth, there's one particular reason I believe he did not get this. Or actually, do you know what? There's probably two reasons why he did not get this avatar. Now, one of these is the fact that he publicly announces he has a CC. He has an NDA CC. Now, NDA CCs, I'll tell you, the difference is, yes, we have to sign a contract being an NDACC, but that's not nothing to do with what we say. Like, that's not saying I won't say this or I won't say that. That is basically an NDA to say that I will not share the information that Wargaming give me. And that is to do with sort of tank releases, upcoming updates, um, new stuff in the game, new events. That is stuff like that. That is not saying I... I will not say this. I'm, I'm going to sign this bit of paper to say I will not say this. It is just literally to say that I will not share the information Wargaming shares with us. That is basically what NDA is. Now, Pantooth publicly announces he has a CC, an NDA CC, that leaks him the information of test, uh, testing uh, tanks that are coming into the game, the schedule. He publicly announces this, and he actually earns from this because he he does this in his uh, YouTube membership, and he passes that information on to those who are his memberships. Now, this is, I believe, a Russian CC uh, that does this. I don't have a clue who it is, and I don't really care. Um, so that's one reason probably why he hasn't received this. But for me, the main reason he did not receive this crate is because about a year, maybe a bit, bit, bit longer, maybe two years ago, he publicly attacked Alexandra. And that for me is a no-no. Like when you, if you attack Wargaming as a whole, then yeah, that, that's okay, that's that's fine. If you're saying of Wargaming, you did this, you did that, you're this, you're that, making memes of Wargaming, fair enough. But when you pick a single person out of that and publicly attack her, then that is where you have a problem. And what he did was, it wasn't even him, to be honest. Someone made a meme of Alexandra, and basically it was of like browsers like Pornhub and it was a picture of her with someone handing her some money to make it look like she was some kind of prostitute. Now that is a big no-no in my, and I've spoke to Pantooth about this and he fully agrees that yeah, he shouldn't have done it. And that is probably the reason he hasn't received this crate. And I, I totally agree with that. I do totally agree that yeah, if you're going to do stuff like that, then don't expect to be treated from Wargaming. But on the other hand, he did something wrong. It was in the past. He hasn't really done anything wrong uh, 
since then yes he's made a few videos that wargaming have asked to release which he uh, asked to uh take down and he's done so you know he's uh he's worked with them and he's okay okay if i did that wrong i'm sorry and like drudel said it got to the point where uh pantu did get worried because he thought he uh his channel was going to get uh deleted and he had to create the second channel and he was just sort of uh trying to build the second channel up in case he gets another strike on his main channel. Uh, so he was worried at the time, and that was basically because he was breaking the rules. Um, but that wasn't enough to not get the avatar. And I know I know, Pantoof says in his video that he doesn't care, but deep down, he, he cares. Of course he cares. He uh, And he should care, to be honest. He should care. He's just been left out while all the other YouTubers have just been given this gift. Um, some YouTubers that shouldn't have got the gift i mean happy on blitz fair enough like happy makes content he's a content creator i like happy we had our beef we no longer got our beef he got this now should someone that rages so like he does in his in his streams and publicly um pulls uh calls people out in his stream um or in his videos or someone that raged if there was a meme going around with with happy where he literally raged so hard because someone said something to him chat and he literally just uh went off on one started saying like things like oh f your mum or this that that should someone like that then get the avatar no i don't think they should so if someone like happy is getting the avatar and happy is appearing in the blitz video why why can't pan tooth like why I don't understand why I can't Pantooth. He has the biggest of followings. Uh so for for Happy to appear in the Blitz birthday video and to receive the avatar and the crates, I think that's just sad. That's stupid on Wargaming's uh, point of view. And if they if they're going to leave Pantooth out, then they have to leave someone like Happy out as well. And there's a few other YouTubers that got the got the crate eco economics mate he got the crate fair enough i love eco but should he have deserved the crate because he doesn't even make blitz content no more like no i in, in my honest opinion he should not have got the crate and there's other youtubers that didn't get the crate that should have got the crate the the new upcoming youtubers they should have set a target like okay anyone with over 5k subs Anyone over 5k subs or anyone over 2k subs that makes solely Blitz content should have been able to get this crate. You have Twally Go Guys, new upcoming YouTuber, didn't get it. You have Timpf, streams every single day for hours and hours and hours, didn't get the crate. So there are a few people, you got Sleepsy, uh, Rose, these people didn't get the crate that, in my opinion, should have got the crate. Uh, so it is a shame. It is a shame, and I hope Wargaming, I hope they watch these videos and think, okay, he should have got the crate, and I hope they do give in to him. Uh, I know he doesn't care. He says he doesn't care, but deep down, I think he, he does care. Uh, he's not going to tell you guys he cares. Uh, for him, this just gives him more ammunition to make videos, to make content, to get those views, to get that money, and, uh, and he, he'll be laughing all the way to the bank for this video. You've seen his video thousands of views uh so he's actually uh making something off that uh but you know it is a shame definitely deserve to get the crate same as droodles droodles deserve to get the crate everyone everyone who makes blitz content to a certain extent should have got this crate should have got this avatar as you can see here now uh and yeah i just wanted to touch up on that and as i said i just wanted to touch up on a few things that droodles and uh pantoof says especially about the the fact that where pantoof says he's now on his own he doesn't have to worry about what he says um that's the only thing i kind of disagree with because i don't have to worry what i say i don't have to worry what i say and the moment wargaming tell me what to say in a video or the moment wargaming says something like that um why did you do this and when it's my honest review uh then then i would probably leave C uh, the cc uh definitely oh if the wargaming have never ever told me what to say they never will and the moment they do that will be my last day 
as a CC, but it, it doesn't work like that. And those that are not a CC just won't understand how the CC, the community contributors actually work. It's not how you guys think it is. I made a whole video about it. Go watch that video and it, it really explains how and what being a CC is like. So anyway, big F for Pantooth. I hope he does receive this somehow, even if they is, even if they don't give him the crate and just give him the freaking avatar. He deserves at least the avatar. So I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Hope it uh, touches up on a few things. Hope you guys now sort of understand a little bit why Pantooth didn't get it. Uh, and things that Pantooth has said but you know he's one of my best friends in this game one day I'm hoping to travel to France to meet him uh, you know we stream together and like I said it's, we get on really really well uh, some things he he disagrees with what I say some things I disagree with what he says and that is all part of a friendship you know that's uh, we have formed a great friendship and hopefully that carries on for many uh, many more years to come so I hope you enjoyed it guys I'm Mitzi I'll catch you all soon. Bye-bye.